it's Mayora, and in this video, I'm covering the views of anti-Zionist Jews, specifically from the Haredi ultra-Orthodox perspective, to explain why you see images like this, and this, and this. And while I don't exactly share their point of view, I am speaking in defense of theirs, and hope to stick around to the end of this video to understand why. As we confront more and more anti-Semitism and face continued conflicts with Hamas and other such anti-Israel groups, we can also expect to hear more from these anti-Zionist Jews. So it's worthwhile for us to understand where they're coming from and how we can peacefully coexist. For the sake of this video, I'll be talking about the Naturi Karta sect, although there are other religious anti-Zionist groups, including Satmar and Toldot Aharon. But the Naturi Karta, whose name means guardians of the city, are the most often and depicted through media for their very vocal stance against Israel and frequent participation in anti-Israel protests, including recently over the latest conflict with Hamas. The Naturi Karta call for the dismantling of the State of Israel and believe that no such Jewish state should exist until the final redemption, which is marked by the arrival of Mashiach. At that time, God will return every Jew to the land of Israel and signal the end of the Jewish exile, which, according to most Jews, is a divinely ordained punishment for our sins. So let me pause here and explain that this is not a fringe belief, but something that's widely accepted across Across the spectrum of Judaism, that the reason we're in exile is due to our sins and that we must earn our final redemption, which includes the final return of all Jews to the land of Israel and the rebuilding of the temple in Jerusalem. In fact, every traditional Siddur includes a section in the holiday prayers stating that because of our sins we were exiled from our land and driven far from our country, which goes on to ask Hashem that he bring us back. The Notori Karta therefore believe that because our exile is a divine punishment, establishing a Jewish state before earning the Messianic redemption is nothing short of blasphemy. They also point to a reference made in the Talmud, one of the foundational texts of Jewish law, known as the Three Oaths, which relates that God made a pact with the Jewish people and the nations of the world, whereby Jews promised they would not reclaim the land by force or rebel against the other nations, who in turn were not to subjugate the Jews. And as an Atari card to see it, Israel's founding in 1948 and its ongoing existence is in direct violation of these oaths. They believe we have yet to earn the redemption, at which time the land will be restored to the Jewish people as a Jewish state replete with the Sanhedrin establishing Jewish law and order. Now, as a side note, this also points to another reason the Naturi Karta oppose the modern state of Israel, which despite having some religious representation of the Knesset, is a largely secular government and society, which, depending on who you ask, stands in opposition to the Torah and many of its values. So there it is. That's why some religious Jews oppose the state of Israel. And while we may not agree with their point of view or even find some of their actions unsettling at times, we owe it to each other as fellow Jews to understand where everyone is coming from and to appreciate the inherent goodness that lies within. Ultimately, the Naturi Karta are doing what they believe is right, what they believe is good in the eyes of Hashem for the sake of the Jewish people. And I so appreciate their dedication to the goal of redemption, even if it may differ from the way that I see it. Yes, anti-Zionism is most often a mask for anti-Semitism, but in the case of religious anti-Zionist Jews like the Naturi Karta, I urge you to avoid the all too common pitfall of mislabeling and slandering them as anti-Semitic self-hating Jews, which could not be further from the truth. On the contrary, these are highly committed Jews whose love for the Jewish people and our universal goals could not be any clearer. And in case you're still skeptical or want to believe that I'm also anti-Zionist, I want to emphasize that I do not agree with the Naturi Karta point of view, but I am simply here to defend them as my fellow Jews. For context, I am a religious Zionist who believes that the state of Israel is a reflection of divine will. And while I agree with the Naturi Karta that we must earn our way out of exile, I see this more as a gradual process rather than a more sudden occurrence. I also don't agree with Israel having a secular government, not unlike the Naturi Karta, but I do believe that a period of transition is necessary. So I hope this video helps shed some light on these seemingly paradoxical members of our community. And more importantly, I hope it'll breathe some understanding and compassion the next time you witness them being slandered. I have said this on my channel before, but I sincerely believe that the worst kind of anti-Semitism is that which occurs within our own community. And if I have one thing in common with groups like the Naturi Karta, it is the ultimate goal of earning a redemption, which we cannot achieve if we continue to slander each other and speak Lashon Hara. We are so close and every action from every Jew matters. So if you take one thing away from this video, I urge you to practice more compassion, more love, more understanding when it comes to your fellow, no matter how diametrically opposed you may seem. As always, thank you for watching and please for the word by sharing this video or any message you have in favor of unity among Jews. Other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Shalom Aleichem.